right now what's happening with this new platform that Intel has launched, their eighth generation processor, we're getting more performance compared to previous generations where we have a higher core count at six cores and you'll see better overall feature sets from the 8th gen processor paired with a Z370 or some other board. We've redone the heatsink, we've redone that outer shroud. It has more of an aggressive look and feel to it. We've added some of the lighting on top of that heatsink and we're doing more to improve thermals because we know that there's more and more concern as we pump more voltage into it, people are doing more overclocking. These are some of the things that we want to make sure that we keep at a low level to ensure performance is good for the overall system. Full lineup of the SKU from i3 all the way up to i7, you're going to see big performance jumps, which is great for users that are trying to get into gaming. They're at the mainstream level, they have a budget, they still want the performance of a high end or they want to bridge that gap into the enthusiast segment. This is something that users will definitely want to try. Our current stack that you guys will probably see at launch is definitely um, our Oris Gaming 7. This is going to be our high end as you can see. It has all the bells and whistles, all the lights on it. Um, as you move down the stack you'll have probably a Gaming 5 and then a Gaming 3 and we also have a Gaming K3 and an Ultra Gaming. We also have a Newegg exclusive which is our Oris Gaming Wi-Fi. The Oris boards will come out with your standard ATX that you guys have seen, the micro ATX as well as the mini ITX. But one of the key things that you guys might notice is for this launch, we're only going to have our Z370 and that's for everyone. The Z370 Oris Gaming 7 is definitely our high-end board. If you're looking between an Oris Gaming 7 and an Ultra Gaming, it'll definitely depend on the budget you have. So if you're trying to just do a simple build where you're using a 1060, a 1070, you might want to stick with an Ultra Gaming single card. If you want to move up and you want to have that upgrade ability, you want to have the performance overall for your networking or your graphics cards, then you might want to move over to the Gaming 7 where you can do multiple M.2s, you can do multiple graphics cards, and you still have that room for growth and expansion later on. As you can see on this board right here, we have almost three different M.2 slots for users to use, ranging from the 80 to 110, so you can choose the different sizes that you need. Gigabyte definitely does include different types of softwares, technologies from our Smart HUD, from our 3D OSD. All of these are softwares to make the user's life easier. We also have software that's coordinated with lighting that we've shown before, but one of the big things that we hope people take advantage of is definitely the overclocking portion. We have that available in our BIOS. We also have it on our App Center side. So it's um, our easy tune. You have different profiles you can pick from. You can also tune one where it's based specifically on your CPU because each CPU is different. What our software does is it actually adjusts the voltages as well as the frequencies and it'll restart the system, make sure it's stable, retest it again, restart the system. And at some point when it deems that it's at its limit, it'll go back to its previous setting and it'll lock it in for you. Even though that we have higher core counts, people will still want to do overclocking. So you'll see users buying that 8700K processor and adding more voltage to it. And that's why we talked about thermals. They'll be doing different things by adjusting frequency. And that's why we've actually tested with a variety of different memories for compatibility and for the best stability overall. And we've tuned our BIOS to support all of that. You can see on the Oris Gaming 7, we actually have what we call a thermal guard. You guys might have seen this previously before, and we've implemented it this time because we're seeing a lot more people move over to M.2. You can see that M.2s get hot, so our heatsink, after you take it off, it actually has quite a bit of thickness in there to actually take the heat out of that M.2 to prevent it from throttling. So the thermal guard is very useful for users that are doing high transfers constantly coming from that M.2. Amp Up Audio Technology is our stamp showing that, hey, we've, we've spent time on this audio, this audio is great for gaming, it's great for 
immersion. It's great for giving you that better experience overall in terms of audio. So you'll see the better capacitors, you'll see a strong codec, you'll see the software that goes along with it. So all of the technologies we've brought from Creative, you'll find with our amp up audio. You'll notice that a lot of the headphone jacks on the back of the rear IO, they're gold plated. So that shows the quality behind it and it also has the ability to produce higher output, so 600 ohms versus your traditional uh, 100 or something. So that's one of the benefits that you'll get with amp up audio technology. The 8th gen platform is an LGA 1151, so the socket is the same as previous generations, but one of the key things that we want to make note of is users need to be careful whether they get it 8th gen or 7th gen, because the 7th gen CPU might fit inside it, but it won't turn on. So people who are looking at new motherboards, you want to go to that Z370. For people that have been purchasing 7th gen processors, you're now moving over to 8th gen. One of the other key points that we want to point out is with the LJ1151, we actually have a wide variety of coolers already out in the market that you can pick up at Newegg anytime. So you don't have to worry about compatibility when you're looking for coolers for your 8th gen CPU. This is definitely a very exciting launch for us and moreover for Intel because this is the first time we're seeing a six core processor hit the mainstream market. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about it, if you guys have any feedback that you guys want to share, check out the Gigabyte form. That's form.gigabyte.us and you can see, you know, what's the best pairing of the HN platform with an Aorus gaming motherboard and what's the best settings to use it with.